So what proportion of gay men used to be married to women? Watch out, ladies, because it's actually one in five. Uh, first, though, gay guys who used to love girls and gay girls who used to date men, for that matter. Two out of five gay men uh, used to be in a straight relationship. One in five actually went on to marry a member of the opposite sex. Elton John did it. Uh, so, <laughs> so did Craig Revel Horwood. Uh, that's him on the right. Were they straight back then? Were they living a lie? Were they in denial? Was it something else? Bisexual, confused? Well, one man who might be able to shed some light on the subject, a very brave man, Gary. He's uh, from Hertfordshire. Uh, welcome, Gary. Nice Hello. to see you. Because you were in a relationship uh, with a, a woman for a long time. 24 years. So... 24 yeah. years? Loved her. And... So... But you are a gay man? Yes, yeah. Um, had a struggle in childhood. Certain things happened, and... I, um... I don't know. It's... Uh, <laughs> sorry. That's all right. I can, I can <laughs> really... We were talking before we came on air, and it's... Uh, it's not um, the easiest thing <clears throat> to talk about. So just take take no. us. Let's let's go with some of this. When, when she was called Jack, Jackie. Jackie. Yeah, yeah. And when did she find out that you were gay? When did you have the conversation? I told her in two thousand, um, literally a few days before the millennium, because I I used to look at her and think I, I loved her so much and just felt I was lying and couldn't live with that. Well, and was that, was that the end of the relationship? No, we stayed together six years after that. Six more years after Yeah, that. and I'd still be with her now if I had my way, so... Did you have relationships with men during that marriage? No, no. But you just had a... Did you have feelings for men? Yeah, you, you, you know, it was one of those things, like I say, childhood was a nightmare for me, mm. and... I, I thought it was because of that I had these feelings. And, you know, I, Jackie was the girl next door. She moved in next door. And when she was 15, I was 16, we got together, or nearly 17. And it worked. Um, I was her first love. She was mine, you know, and it's, you know, the... How, how, how did you... How did you know you were gay? Or how did you feel so strongly about it? to have the conversation just before 2000 and the new year? Uh, about six months prior to that, I tried to kill myself. Um, um, I was driving along a busy road and thought, if I do it this way, no one's going to know, you know, it'd be an accident. And fortunately, at the crucial moment, I looked up and saw the lorry driver's face as I'm hurtling towards him at 90 miles an hour in my car. And the horror on his face stopped me doing it. Had I not looked up, I, I wouldn't be here now. So. And, and how did Jackie take it when you told her? Obviously devastated. Um, had she had any suspicions? No, no. I, I was all she knew. Um, mm. And to tell you the truth, I was almost homophobic. Um, you know, put on this big image, um, you know, any if anything slightly related to gayness came on the telly, I turned it off, you know, it, it totally 100% denied it and put that, you know, those feelings down to my childhood. Um, it, it was easy to do that at the time, but obviously as throughout our first year after I told her was Extremely hard. Um, mm, I can imagine. Extremely I, I, what hard. I find, I find fascinating is it carried on for six odd years afterwards. I loved her. And she loved yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's... Like I say, I... I would still be with her now. She's no longer with us? No, no. no she, um... <clears throat> she got with her present partner about 18 months ago and... You know, was happy from what I could make out, and I had a baby um, a few months ago, and then she was only home a day and was rushed back in with meningitis and died that evening. So. Um, and did you did you have children? Yeah, we we got two girls. So you've got two beautiful girls. Beautiful girls. So. And do you have a partner now? I do. I do. Yeah. A man. Yes. Happy. Yeah. 
Berry. I met him earlier. I'm not sure. I met him earlier, and I because uh, I because it, it's it, this is emotional stuff, and yeah, I just yeah. it's important people know that you are happy, and and, yeah. that, and that's yeah. a, a, a are your two girls happy for you. Yeah, they chicken? they have their moments. Bless them. They're going to you know it's embarrassing, isn't it? You know. Uh, I don't think it is embarrassing. No, I, I, I think it's marvelous what you've yeah, done, and I think um, your honesty is fantastic, yeah, and you're yeah. a wonderful man, mm -hmm. and I think your daughters. I think they will you know, they love you. Oh, obviously, they do love you, but they'll love you even more. They're yeah. great kids. I'm great. very lucky. Can I ask you, if you, if, if you had your time all over again, would, would things, mm -hmm. knowing what you know now, living in the world we live in now, would you have done things differently? Exactly the same. Exactly the same? <laughs> no doubt about it. I, we had so much fun together as a couple, you know. Um, we did a lot. It, you know, we... we very boring, but we loved the garden, you know, we, we spent hours in the boring. garden. Um, I wouldn't have my daughters. Um, my daughters, you know, you give your life to your kids, and I know I would. I'm, I'm with Beans. I think you are yeah, a wonderful absolutely. man. So, yeah, a wonderful absolutely. man. The sensitivity that, that yeah. comes through is amazing. Angela Matanda is with us this morning. <laughs> 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 it's supposed to be the other way round, Angela. <laughs> you're, you're supposed to be helping I know. Gary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if we can talk in, in some general terms yeah. here, we know from the stats it's very common. Yeah. Um, I'd like to think it's probably got more to do with uh, maybe how, how society has changed. I, uh, that, that, that perhaps it may become less common. Well, I hope so, but actually I don't think so. I think it, there's so much discrimination and this sort of worry for people who are gay that that they're going to split up their family, they're going to be badly judged, they're going to lose their status, they're going to lose their jobs, they're going to, you know, there's a lot to lose, that actually they believe it's easier to just go ahead and get into a heterosexual relationship and cover it up, which, of course, as Gary has very sensitively mm. outlined, you can't do that because no. your true self will, will come through. And I think that's the tragedy, that, you know, people get themselves in these situations. And I think the, the, the relationship you had with Jackie was a very safe one, where you both had each other for lots of reasons. They, they clung to each mm. other, had this family. And I think what is common is for a lot of men who haven't come out to feel homophobic, because it is like a, a cover story. It's like, this is a safer place for me to be and turn, you know, turn yeah. my head away from anything that's gay on telly or in the papers or say negative things because it will make me stay safe and it's not about that it's about being your true self and i just th i just wish we would give people permission to be their true self so they just get on with their lives and not be in situations where they're heartbroken i can't bear it but actually because that's the reality for a lot of people you know getting help and support is the best way forward and also you know if you've had the children that's something else that you need to think about as a family you know, when you're coming out, your kids are going to need a lot of time to come mm. to terms with the changed identity of the parent. They're still the same, yeah, they're but same. kids will go through that kind of, well, who do you think you are telling me what to do? You know, I don't know who you are anymore. And they need time to come to terms with their own emotions, their own feelings, and also get back that relationship. And often a lot of kids do need okay. support. OK, and uh, now, because Jackie's no longer with us, we can't hear what she, what she has to say. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to throw it open to you guys at home. And I don't know, Amy, if, if we have anybody on the phone who can... Yeah, who we've can got loads the of calls. The other, the other half here, yeah? We're going to start with uh, Mel first from Bedford. Bed 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 Bed